Hey everybody, it's Carol with O'Brien Custom Turning, and I have a few blanks I want to show you before we put them back out in the workshop. So this one is a new one that just came in as a free gift from Beartooth Woods. It's called Fractured Snow. It has white and black and silver in it. I haven't decided yet if we're going to put this one in our Etsy shop or use it for a mystery pen, but I do like the little fractured patterns and such in it. Looks like it's going to make a really pretty diamond painting pen no matter where we decide it's going to end up ultimately. This one is Ocean Avenue. It is blue and brown. It's one of the Graffiti Melt series of pens. This is Ice Storm Glitter Chris, uh, for the Christmas series. It's a limited edition, only available for Christmas. I have, I think, four in our Etsy shop right now. And there still are a few more on the Beartooth site. So we may be able to pick up a few more depending on how fast those go. But it is a limited edition for Christmas only. And you can see it's got the silver tinsel glitter throughout it. This one is teal tied. It's got teal colored glitter in it. Also from Beartooth Woods. This is Swamp Witch Reef. It is purple and green with black. Part of the Coral Reef series from Mutt Blanks. We sell many of the Coral Reef series blanks. That's why you see them so frequently in my blank displays. This is Baby Blanket Reef. It's all pastels, pink and yellow and blue. Also from Mutt Blanks. We picked them up at Beartooth Woods. You can also get these at Exotic Blanks, but they have different names there. This is one of the Rhino Series blanks. It's called Pomegranate Martini. It is a pink and green blank. Since it is a Rhino Series, it is an inch diameter rather than the three-quarter inch. So that means you could have a super fat diamond painting pen if you wanted rather than the normal thickness. This one just came in to replenish my supply. It comes from Casey Martin at Wine Country Woodworks. It's gold leaf, silver leaf, and copper leaf flakes. This is Unicorn Matrix. It has got purple, black, and blue squares in it in a matrix pattern. This one comes from Rapture Resins. It's one of the Pearly Abalone series. This one has the blue in it. See the patterning in it? It's got blue. This one also would be available in pink, red, yellow, green, purple, or teal, along with you can get it without any color patterning at all. This one is Blue Lagoon, part of the Prismatic series of blanks. All of the glitter blanks, Dan recommends that you paint the tubes black if you're making a tubed-in project because they're all created on a transparent glitter base. This one is Icebreaker, part of the Angel Wing series of blanks. My camera is definitely not loving these words up close today, but you can still see the blank, and that's the important part. It's not the words that you need to read. It's the blanks you need to see. This one is Blue Moon Chameleon Glitter. It's got mostly a dark blue in it with some silver glitters. This is Stargaze. Stargaze is in the Glitter Plus family. It's got silver glitters in different sizes. This is Blue Lagoon in the Acrolester family. See the little tiny chip outs on the edges? Because that's one of those really brittle and difficult to turn blanks. Very easy to polish and will be super, super shiny when it's done. This is Bumblebee Water. 
bumblebee water is yellow and black with transparent areas in it. So when it is turned, it will be see-through in parts. This is one of the woods. It's an orange. And it actually was orange when we turned it. Kind of a pretty color. This is a yellow and blue grapevine from Wine Country Woodworks. With all of the grapevines, you likely are going to have holes and spots you have to fill because they are live materials. So like here, you have that hole in the grapevine. That's just a normal thing when you're working with trees and flowers that you have to fill those. This is a Kieranite Magenta series. And the Kieranites, what they're known for is all of that nice, bright, shiny, shimmery part. See that when I turn it, how it just reflects the light? That is what Kieranites are known for. And then the last one is another one of the Acrolester ones. This is Frostbite. And again, you can see on the edges right here, see how, how that little bites are taken out of? These are created and trademarked by wood turnings, but you can also pick them up at other vendors. We happen to get this one at Penn State, but they are trademarked by wood turnings. Well, that's my last one for today. Hope you enjoyed seeing them and hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.